Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video in here, uh, you know, somebody sent me an email telling me that there is famous people, they said a lot of great things about Muhammad, and <clears throat> that person, uh, uh, thanks to him or to her, uh, gave me this website made by Muslims, talking about quotes made by famous people about the Prophet of Islam. And you know, some people they are so interested about what someone is famous he said about Muhammad. I don't know how smart it is to go by someone famous, but anyway, first of all, what is my guarantee that what is written there in this page about those who supposedly they are famous, for me myself, I don't know any one of them, and I never heard of any of them. Honestly, for me they are no one, they are no famous, I don't know them. But let us say there are people who they are exist and they are very famous to you and you know them. And I'm sure some, many of you, they, they knew some names in here. Let us say that those people, they said what they are saying. But for me, if somebody written something in a web page about someone who died a long time ago, it doesn't make really what he is saying is true. Because first, you have to go and find out yourself if he really say or said something like that. But let us assume that in this website made by Muslims, there is no lies. All of those people, they said what they are saying. Let us see what they are saying. Thomas, uh, uh, Thomas, he said, The lies, western slander, which well-meaning zeal has happened around this man Muhammad, are disgraceful to ourselves only. Huh? What is the lies? Like what? Let us continue. The picture of Muslim soldier advancing with sword is one hand and the Quran in the other one is a quite false. Uh -huh. Is it a quite false? <laughs> a crusade against the Muslims, not a war against terror. A crusade against terror. And for your information, my dear Muslim brothers and sisters, terrorism it is part and parcel of Islam. Terrorism is part of the deen of Islam. Yes. Allah said in the ayah, وَعِدُّوا لَهُمْ مَا اسْتَطَعْتُمْ مِنْ قُوَّةِ وَمِنْ رِبَاتِ الْخَيْرِ تَرْحِبُونَ بِهِ عَدُوَ اللَّهِ To terrify the enemies of Allah, we should prepare ourselves. Al-Adad al-Jihad, prepared to go to jihad, is fard wa'ayn on the Muslims, on the males like us here. That's why you should teach your son how to write, how to shoot. Because it's the Sunnah of the Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and fard on you as a father to teach him how to become a Mujahid. You believe Khalid bin Walid, Sa'id bin Waqqas, that they come from nowhere? Being taught by the Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Being the upbringing, their ta'aleem and their tarbiyah was with the swords and with the bow and arrows. And the same for the Ummah today should be the Ummah of Jihad. That's why the American government, they are targeting the Muslims and in particular the understanding of Jihad. They want to say to you, no, Islam is only self-defense. Islam is not offensive jihad. My dear Muslim brother, jihad is no aid, two types. A jihad talab, offensive jihad to conquer and to spread the authority of the Sharia. And defensive jihad to protect Muslim lands. Two types. And for your information, the Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, he took part in 27 battles, 27 ma'arik, and all offensive jihad. All come out of Medina to go to the enemy. Every single battle. Even Khandaq. They left Medina and did church and went out. That's the Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And for your information, the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum. All offensive jihads. And we should follow them. Because the Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu said in the hadith, he said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnatul khulafa al rashidin al-mahdiyin addu alayha bin nawajis. He said, upon you, abiding on you as a Muslim, is the Nabi Sunnah and the Sunnah of the Sahaba. And for your information, the Sahaba, and in the time of Umar al-Khattab, he removed all Jews and Christians from Hijaz, completely. He would do the same. That's why when you hear on the news, the Mujahideen, you know, of Hijaz, they kill those British and they kill those Americans. Don't be surprised. It's not some new phenomenon to kill the enemies of Allah. And you may say to yourself, no, 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 they're innocent. No kafir is innocent. Innocence, this, you know, abriya is only for the Muslims. No kafir is innocent. You know, sometimes I see animals or even insects, they are smarter than a human being. 
at least they knew where to stand and what to eat and what to do to survive. Human being is so naive. It's amazing how many uh, like tools we have around us. Like, you know, I might uh, say, okay, this person he don't know. Uh, because simply how he will know. We are in the year 2008. If you live in the West, I guarantee you even kids have internet, have computers. And you know what? The internet is full of garbage. Absolutely, absolutely true. But at least you can get a lot of information. You can go and read by yourself. You can hear the negative and the positive. When somebody speak about Islam like me, I'm showing you how ugly it is. In the same time, if you ask me if there is something good about Islam, I will show I will say I will say yes, there is something good about Islam. It is exactly what has been stolen from the Bible. And I will show you the verses exactly been taken from the Bible as it is. So don't make somebody fool you showing like you know what? In the Quran there is some verses saying give it charities even to non-Muslims. This is all is abrogated. Those all Muhammad he did use in the beginning when he was trying to promote himself. Like you know, when a phone company they open or somebody he opened a restaurant. The first three, five, six, one month, the food is fantastic. The month after it's garbage. Because he's just trying to promote himself. And it's exactly what Muhammad he did. So don't be a fool and let a Muslim play with you. If someone is famous, he said something. My respect to everybody. Ask yourself the same question. How many famous they said something bad about Islam? And by the way, most of famous they will not say so because this will be very risky. They will risk their life because you are so easy to find out who are you. And you know, those people they are willing to do anything. Did you ask yourself like why we don't see a lot of people who leave Islam making videos about themselves and post on YouTube? They will not because it's very dangerous. But if somebody converts to Islam, nobody will kill him. He will make a video. And the Muslims will, hey, you see how many people convert to Islam? The fact, people are leaving Islam. But who dare to say in public, I am an ex-Muslim. The Muslim will, will, you know, will, will assassin him. This is a mafia. And we heard this guy is teaching little kids, and those kids one day they will they will be, and they will ask you know what? How come we have terrorists in UK? How come we have terrorists in England? How come we have terrorists in in Europe? How come? How dumb! This is what you hear in every mosque. You will see the same guy when he go out making a speech in TV. Islam is very peace, brother. You know, we Muslims, we are very peaceful. We give it charities. We love everybody. The Prophet even, he told us to love the Christians. He just was telling them, kill them wherever you find them. We have to remove all the Christian and the Jew. I am an Arab Christian. Why you want to remove me? You know, you want to re remove the American from the Arabian, Arabian land? No problem. I am an Arab. Why you want to remove me? Because you are a Muslim. The Jewish are from there. Why you want to remove them? Because they are Jewish. The Jewish are not immigrant. The Jewish are not coming from the moon. The Jewish are from Israel. And the Arab land is Arab Christian land actually. It's not the land of Muslims. Even the first wife of Muhammad, it was a Christian lady. She was from false cult Christian sect, but doesn't matter. She is coming from a Christian roots. This land is full of Christians. What, what happened to them? They removed them. And he said that. You see the Prophet? He removed them all. How he removed them? He killed them all. And then you will see someone saying to you, the Prophet was a thinker man. He's so sweet. He's full of love. He was a Caesar without army, without police, without bodyguard. How filthy liar you are. Have thousands of swords around him. Actually, he said it clearly. The Quran said that. I have been given victory by terrorism. There is, there is a city they give up from far away before they arrive to them because they heard how much ugly the Muslims are. Because they fear, you know what, if they come to us, they will chop our head, all of us, they will rape our women. So people, they give it up even before fight. Because they heard what those Muslims will do. 
I hope this is a very clear answer for those who have questions regarding Islam. Christ is Lord and I think monkeys are smarter than many people. You find out yourself. Especially those who we heard or we you know we saw a quote from their books they call themselves famous.